Often when calculating a pediatric dose of medication, there will be a range used with acceptable high and low doses. The physician has ordered amoxicillin every 8 hours for a pediatric patient who weighs 28.6 pounds. The weight-based standard for amoxicillin is 20 to 40 milligrams per kilogram per day. What are the low and high acceptable doses rounded to the nearest whole? When calculating a pediatric dose range, you set up your equation just like you would if you were calculating for medication based on body weight, only instead of using one equation, you use two, one for the high value and one for the low value. Starting with our low value of 20 milligrams per kilograms per day, we convert from kilograms into pounds. We add the child's body weight and we divide the day into three separate doses. We cancel like terms and multiply across. We get 572 milligrams over 6.6 .6 doses. We divide and are left with 87 milligrams when rounded to the nearest whole. Our second equation is set up the exact same way, only exchanging 20 milligrams for 40 milligrams. Our high dose is 173 milligrams. Our range is 87 milligrams to 173 milligrams. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. The acceptable range is 61 milligrams to 69 milligrams. The prescribed dosage is not within range. Now we will calculate for IV or intravenous medications. We will start with infusion times. You are infusing a medication volume of 250 milliliters. It is running at 50 drops per minute with a drop factor of 15 drops per milliliter. How long will the medication take to infuse? When setting up our equation, we first start with our volume of 250 milliliters. We then multiply that by our drop factor of 15 drops per milliliter and multiply it again by our speed of 50 drops per minute. We cancel like terms and multiply across. We end up with 3,750 minutes over 50. When you divide, you get 75 minutes. The medication will take 75 minutes to infuse. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. 300 milliliters running at 50 drops per minute with a drop factor of 20 drops per milliliter will take 120 minutes to infuse. The completion time will be 1130. Here we look at IV drip rates calculated as milliliters per hour. 100 milliliters volume of medication is to be infused over 15 minutes. What is the rate in milliliters per hour needed to deliver the medication in time? Our equation starts with our dose over our expected infusion time, 100 milliliters over 15 minutes. To calculate this in hours, we need to multiply 60 minutes in one hour. We cancel like terms and multiply across. We get 6,000 milliliters over 15 hours. Divide and we are left with 400 milliliters per hour. Pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. 90 milliliters of volume infused over 45 minutes requires a drip rate of 120 milliliters per hour. When manually calculating an IV drip rate, you will have to calculate how many drops per minute are required. Medication is infusing at 120 milliliters per hour, using a micro drip giving a drop factor of 60 drops per milliliter. What is the rate in drops per minute needed to maintain this speed? When setting up the equation, we start with our 120 milliliters per hour and our drop factor of 60 drops per milliliter. To get it into minutes, we multiply 1 hour over 60 minutes. We cancel like terms and multiply across. We're left with 7,200 drops for 60 minutes. When you divide, you get 120 drops per minute. 
pause the video, try this problem on your own, and continue when you are ready for the answer. Medication infusing at 200 milliliters per hour with a drop factor of 15 drops per milliliter requires a rate of 50 drops per minute. This concludes the clinical calculations video.